Hey, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Internet Computer's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, Classic TA, and also indicators. Now, as per usual, in every video about ICP, I need to tell you that in the long term, I am actually bullish because I do believe that starting from the highest high and ending to somewhere around the lowest low, we are having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure down. And this means some sort of a bottom is going to be an right in here and we can actually be bullish but is this the only reason to be optimistic no you see in terms of elliot waves if you want to say that we are going to have maybe our final bottom somewhere around this area let's say this is a very strong support okay off of it you need to be able to find one two three four five wave on the upside we can have different kinds of five waves this example is a normal one the rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and wave 4 and in any kind of impulsive structure wave 3 shouldn't be the smallest wave and 4 sub waves as you can see 5 wave up into wave 1 3 and 5 and 4 corrections for wave 2 and 4 we can consider different patterns let's say wxy into 4 and an a b c structure into wave 2 and this is why i am actually very very bullish in icp because i do believe that off of the lowest slope we are actually having one two three four five wave impulsive structure up with all the sub waves now what happens after a five wave up if you are a new viewer and you don't know the answer to that that would be a move down but here's a catch that move has to be in form of a correction structure and if it is actually a correction it will be very very bullish because on a higher degree we can say this is a one correction for wave two and then after this move down is over we can expect a big move up into wave three and four and five so this is why again i am still bullish in icp pressure now let's zoom in a bit more and see what is going on in here and what happened since we talked about icp in the previous video if you remember the last time that we talked about internet computer i believe we were somewhere around these areas and i was saying i need to see two very very important things in order for me to be very bullish in icp number one i need to see a move up in an attempt to take this high right in here because if we take this high there will be pretty much no shot for us to be able to find an impulsive movement in this area right in here it means well okay probably our option is not over yet and we are going to continue this move on the upside and number two was having again a move up in an attempt to get back above this very important area and then have a solid pullback and then after it a continuation of the move down we said if we do something like this it will be very very bullish in icp so what happened as you can see not only we didn't get this move up we also got this solid move down right in here which is not necessarily a bullish sign and now i'm going to argue that well okay if I just delete this one, this one, and also this one, there we go. You see, the nature of this move right in here now looks a bit more like an impulse and not a correction structure. And also, finding an impulsive structure, a complete one to somewhere on this side, now is actually very, very difficult. So, what's the message in here? I'm thinking maybe now this is going to be a correction structure up, maybe an ABC, or maybe. I just take this one there we go a w x y maybe in form of a double zigzag and from the side we might be on our way to have who knows maybe even a five wave impulsive structure down in another time to take the lowest slow in here for the first target about let's say 5.8 dollars so this is not necessarily a good sign in icp spread chart especially because in terms of classic technical analysis meaning support and resistances not only we got a solid rejection from this level we also lost this very important area as well which again is a very very bad sign now here's a question if we are going to get a move down and if we are going to take the lowest line here well okay what will be the next target for icp for this move on the other side well okay this is actually not that bad because I believe in terms of classic TA, again, meaning support and resistances, we are having a very, very strong support area in weekly and daily time frame at the same time, which means it does actually have quite a bit of validity somewhere between, let's say, 5 to about $5.8 right in here. There we go. 
and this is in my opinion extremely extremely important why because god forbid if we break this support meaning in weekly time frame we go under it and then pull back to this area and then a continuation of the move down in time to take this slow rising here because under this area it doesn't seem like that we are having a whole lot of strong supports chances are you might see at that point this move down continue for quite a bit in our time too who knows even set new lows and take the lowest low in here about two and a half dollars so basically what i'm trying to say is this if you see icp continue this move down right in here well, okay the first target for it is going to be this very important support area from weekly and daily time frame at the same time between five to five point eight dollars and if you see internet computer getting a break of this level okay the next target might be setting new lows and you might see from this region a 50 to who knows maybe even 60 percent move on the downside okay this is a very very important point i need you to fully understand it basically in my opinion this is going to be pretty much the make it or break it level if we get hopefully a solid bounce back from this region we are going to be still allowed to be optimistic in internet computer on the other hand if we break this support well okay chances of icp having a bearish scenario rather than a bullish one in this area is going to be much much higher okay this is very important now what is going on in terms of indicators let's go on some higher time frames and i bet that we're not seeing necessarily the best signs in here either let's just do this there we go okay as you can see we are having now a confirmed sell signal in macd which is a bearish sign and a sell signal in a stock rsi but this signal at the moment at least is not confirmed yet we need to wait until the end of the week and at that point if we are going to have this thing okay it will be a very very bad sign for icp in the meta and in daily time frame what's happening okay again we are having sell signals in macd and stock rsi at the same time but in stock rsi we are around the oversold region and maybe soon the sellers are going to get exhausted and as a result of it hopefully hopefully we are going to get some moves on the upside but i would argue before we get these moves on the upside chances are this move down is going to continue a bit more and maybe we are going to reach to somewhere around this area at least for the first circuit so let's have our final conclusion and wrap our video despite the fact that we are having now this move down right in here i would actually still like to remain optimistic in icp price chart and say chances are whatever move that we are having in this area is going to be a correction as structure and not an impulsive movement and after this correction is over we are going to get another big move up in our time to at least at least take this high for the first target about let's say 21 dollars and this correction technically can be a sell in form of an abc expanded flat and you just need to change the sub waves and say maybe this was the end of our wave one and then correction for wave two big move down into wave three correction for four in here and again we may have another move down into wave five which the, the minimum target for it is going to be taking the lowest low in this area about 5.8 dollars and again after taking this low i'm hoping that we are going to get a solid bounce back from this very important support area from weekly and daily time frame at the same time between 5 to 5.8 bucks if we get a bounce back it will be in my opinion an optimistic sign on the other hand if we break this support and do something like this that point i might actually need to consider some other possibilities that suggest this whole thing is just a correction as structure and we are going to get a move down even in an attempt to set new lows and take the lowest low in here about let's say two and a half bucks so if we break this support you might actually see another 50 to even 60 percent move on the downside in icp but since we're not there yet let's be still hopeful and say we are going to get a rejection from this very important area and i do actually believe that we are going to get a move up soon in icp and pretty much every other crypto because this move down right in here is way way too fast and as a result of it we created some very very strong gaps and for example in icp the most important one is going to be in daily time frame and it's somewhere between let's say eight and a half to about nine dollars right in here which at the same time as you can see accidentally or maybe not it's somewhere around the lower band of this very important area and again i do believe that we are going to get this move up right in here it's just the fact that maybe 
before we get this move we are going to continue this move down a bit more so for now all eyes on this very important support area and see what is going to happen to it and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in internet computers price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye